Hi friends, welcome to my YouTube channel SS Analysis. First of all, I would like to tell you that if you are watching this video first time, subscribe my channel to see my more upcoming videos on analysis of different commodities and equity indices. And second important thing is to watch this video till its end to understand this solely to take your decision. Your whole like will motivate me to be regular in working more hard for you. So let us start the day to analyze the movements of S&P 500 futures in different time frames. So friends here you can see that how the S&P 500 futures found a strong support amid a fall on September 24th at the levels of 3197 and once again started to move upward but found a stiff resistance at the levels of 3536 on October 12th and once again started to move downward but so here you can see that once again the S&P 500 futures found strong support at the levels of 3228 on October 30th and since then we have seen the continuation of an uptrend whereas this uptrend was very steep so here you can see that how we have seen a steep uptrend in ascent funded futures which started from the levels of 3238 where the ascent funded futures tested a high at the levels of 3666 on November 9 2020 so here you can see that how this level of 3666 seems to be an important level for ascent funded futures where you can see that the ascent funded futures constantly found this level as a strong support when the ascent funded futures sustained above this resistance this immediate resistance turned into a strong support and the ascent funded futures continue to form this support in case of a downward move every time when the ascent funded futures found a downward move here you can see that how the level of 3670 provided a strong support to ascent funded futures so here you can see that once again the ascent funded futures found a strong support on february 1st 2021 and found an upward move but found one more resistance at the levels of 3960 and remained under bearish pressure where the ascent funded futures found a strong support at the 26 days moving average and finally tested the levels of the 3722 on march 4th 2021 but once again the ascent 500 futures found a rally from these levels and uh, here you can see the how the ascent 500 futures found the formation of a bullish crossover in a daily time frame on march 16 and since then we have seen the ascent 500 futures to continue this upward move up to the levels of 4244 what they tested on may 10th 2021 but found a sharp sell off from here which resulted in three bearish candles during this week so friends here i find that once again the ascent 500 futures have found a strong support at the levels of 4029 what it tested on may 13th from where we have seen some strength in the ascent funded futures where i find that the ascent funded futures have been facing stiff resistance above the levels of 4179 here you can see that how the ascent funded futures remained under selling pressure when the ascent funded futures once again tested the levels of 4053 on may 19 2021 but from here, once again, this uptrend continued. But here you can see that how the ascent funded futures have been facing stiff resistance above this previous high, what it tested on May 10th. But here you can see that how the ascent funded futures have been trying to sustain about the levels of 4242 but here i find that if the ascent funded futures are not able to sustain above the immediate resistance at the levels of 4278 we'll see a sharp downward move from here where we could see the repetition of these three bearish candles during the first three trading sessions of the upcoming week so here i find that if the ascent funded futures are not able to breach this immediate resistance at the levels of 4278 during the upcoming week we'll see a sharp downward move during the first three trading session of the upcoming week where these three bearish candles could be repeated during the upcoming week so friends here i find that if the ascent funded futures start the upcoming week with a gap down opening below the levels of 4260 so here i find that it is very important to keep a visible eye over the closing level of june 2021 for ascent funded futures where i find that if the ascent funded futures are not able to hold above the upper end of a cloud in a daily time frame during the upcoming week we'll see the ascent funded futures could find some support at the levels of 4071 and the next support can be seen at the levels of 4041 
one, but here I find that a breakdown of ascent funded futures below the levels of 4029 during the upcoming week will result in a sharp downward move during the upcoming weeks, which could continue in ascent funded futures where the next support can be seen at the levels of 3850 during the upcoming weeks. So, friends, here I find that be ready for extreme volatile moves in ascent funded futures. Now, let's check this move in an hourly time frame here. You can see that how the ascent funded futures have been maintaining an uptrend after testing a low at the levels of 4126 what they tested on June 20th. Since then we have seen a V-shaped recovery in the ascent Fahrenheit futures but here you can see that how the ascent Fahrenheit futures have been constantly facing stiff resistance above the previous highs of 4258 once again find it difficult to sustain about this previous high and here I find that shortly we will see the confirmation of this exhaustive candle in an hour time frame where you can see that how the formation of an exhaustive candle in an hour time frame looks evident enough for a breakdown in the ascent 400 futures where I find that in an hour time frame if the ascent 400 futures are not able to hold above the 26 days moving average on the first trading session of the upcoming week which is currently at the levels of 4265 we'll see the next support can be seen at the levels of 4259 but here I find that if the ascent 500 futures start the upcoming week with a gap down opening below the levels of 4259 we'll see a sharp downward move in the ascent 500 futures which could continue to drag down the ascent 500 futures during the upcoming week where the first trading session of the upcoming week could be very crucial for the ascent funded futures the first trading session of the upcoming week will be very decisive for deciding the further direction move of ascent funded futures for the month of july and here i find that if the ascent funded futures are not able to hold the upcoming week above the levels of 4127 we see a sharp downward move and the ascent funded futures could continue during the month of july so thank you friends thanks for watching this video if you like this video don't forget to share this video with your more and more friends thank you